an introductory guide to EC3. Chapter 2. Botnets. Cybercrime tool number 1. Cybercriminals are just ordinary criminals who happen to commit their illegal activities online. And despite what it might look like, cybercriminals do not need to be IT geniuses to do so. They just require the invaluable help of their loyal sidekick, the botnet. Botnets are a cybercriminal's best friend. A botnet is a network of computers infected with malware to perform automated tasks over the internet without the knowledge of the computer's owner. That's why they are also called zombies. A botnet can take over a few hundred computers or even hundreds of thousands. There is a long list of crimes that can be committed by means of a botnet. One example is phishing. With phishing, cybercriminals impersonate trustworthy entities like banks to acquire users' personal data, such as usernames, passwords and credit card details. Another example is ransomware, where cybercriminals distribute malware to kidnap computers and if the owners want to see their PCs alive again, they have to pay a ransom. Although, you should never pay. A recent variation is police ransomware, the same idea but using fake law enforcement branding in an attempt to increase authenticity. Botnets are also used to send junk email attack websites and critical infrastructure, and in general, to carry out any kind of large-scale hacking you can think of. Organized criminal groups have turned botnets into a large business model. First, they create their own bots and malware. Secondly, they steal your personal and financial information, with which they can carry out scams with banks and e-commerce websites as targets. Once their pockets are full, they launder their money. What is Europol's role in this entire scenario? The EC3 High Tech Crimes Team, also known as Focal Point Cyborg, helps out the EU member states by giving them support and coordinating their cross-border criminal investigations into these groups. For starters, Cyborg maps out cybercriminal groups based on information provided by law enforcement agencies. Afterwards, it supports the member states in setting up a joint investigation and it coordinates the execution of the operation. The botnet is taken down and the criminals arrested. Later, Cyborg extracts the data and makes forensic copies of the C servers, smartphones and computers. Finally, it analyzes the data, which might lead into new links, leads and operations. The Cyborg gets to disable botnets and malware and put cybercriminal gangs behind bars.